Today's cook on Grilling with RVH features two whole chickens. I did not spatchcock, I did not butterfly them, I simply put two whole chickens on the smoker. We prepped them up with some Cosmos Q uh, Dirty Bird Rub, as well as some two Gringos Chupacabra Cluckalicious Rub, which is outstanding. Before I season them, I brined them for about four hours in some Oak Ridge uh, Game Changing Brine and Injection brine them with that and some uh, lemon juice and some lime juice. Took that for about four hours, pulled them out of that, rinsed them off, put them in the pans, put seasoning on them, the aforementioned two seasonings. As a base seasoning, excuse me, as a base seasoning, I also used uh, Killer Hogs AP rub, put a little bit of that down first. And then on one, I put down some Cosmos Q Dirty Bird rub. And then on the other, I put the uh, two Gringos Cluckalicious. So, Brought them out here, put them on the smoker for 225, let them get to about 150, 155. I cranked the heat up to about 400, 350 to 400 um, to crisp up the skin. Got a little bit of a flare up, so I think next time when I go up to high heat, I think I will go, I will probably put them in a metal pan, a metal dish. Well, I guess it's already <laughs> kind of like a, I've got this one in now. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna go with a metal dish. Um, from high heat on, about when, about at 150. When I crank it to 400 to crisp the skin, I'm gonna go ahead and boost that up uh, and put the chicken in a metal pan so those drippings don't get down on the flame manifold and cause a flare up. So, there you have it. Waiting for this last one to get to 165, 170, and then we're gonna pull it, wrap it up, and put it in the oven. Um, the oven's not on, but it's just gonna rest there for a little while, and then we'll, uh, we'll go from there. My wife is planning on taking one and cutting it up into uh, pieces for like casseroles, for a King Ranch casserole. If you've never heard, heard of that or had that, Google it. It's a phenomenal dish. But we'll pull those off, that other one off here in a minute, let it rest, and uh, cut it up. We're back now. Let's get this, get this chicken off here, get it wrapped up, and get it inside. On a cook like this, or after a cook like this, I'm gonna crank this to about 400 or 450 and burn that grease that did drip down on the manifold. Oh yeah, looking very good. Exceptionally good. We're going to take this inside and put it in the oven. And what we're going to do now, now that those are out of the way, we're going to go ahead and close this and we're going to crank this to about 450. And we're going to see if we can burn some of that grease that uh, came out of that chicken. So I will tell you this as a recommendation, completely up to you, but I think that if you plan on going up to high heat, on this particular smoker unit, either this one or the 560, if you plan on going up to high heat to crisp that chicken skin 400, 450, I would say put it in a metal pan right before you do that. I should have done that. I'm sure people have suggested that on the Facebook groups that I'm a part of. They're on this smoker. I didn't. However, I learned not to do that next time. Chicken look, the chicken itself, the skin looks really good. It looks done. It looks very flavorful. So we're gonna let it rest for a little while and uh, eat it after church tonight. But um, I would highly recommend if you're going to crisp it at high heat, put it in a metal pan. 